Part 3, Multispectral Data Processing Color Shades Lab allows to apply two simple algorithms for spectral signature detection in an image. The first one is dedicated to vegetation applications, and is based on the well-known NDVI index. The second one is useful to detect objects in the image, whose spectra are close to a reference spectrum chosen by the user. To apply these algorithms, first open the processed image window. To do so, click on the display button in the upper bar and choose processed image. Or, alternatively, click on the processed image icon, in the icon bar. Please note that you can use the icon on the right in the ICO bar to automatically size and align the display windows. Then. Click on the Processing button in the upper bar and choose Setting. The Processing Settings window, opens on the left column of the screen. Select the algorithm in the drop-down menu. In this example we choose the Spectral Reference Algorithm. To choose a reference spectrum, click on the Reset button, then on the Select Spectral Reference button. In the raw image window or in the color image window, select your reference area. You can either click on one point of the image or click and drag to select a rectangular zone. The reference spectrum is now selected. The processed image, presents in false color, the spectral distance in between any point of the image, and the reference spectrum. To improve the display of the processed image, you can change the LUT, the gamma factor and the up and down limit. To do so, click on the processing button in the upper bar and choose display. The processing display window opens on the left column of the screen. Play on the sliders to get a more or less selective display of the processed image. You can also select another LUT in the drop-down menu. To get an idea of the power of object recognition thanks to its spectrum, we show the following example. Consider the second pad in the upper right corner of the color checker. The spectrum of this pad is close to the spectrum of a Caucasian skin. We will now try to detect the skin by using this pad as a spectral reference. We click on the reset button, then on the select spectral reference button. We choose the skin color pad as the reference spectrum. The skin of a hand is then recognized very efficiently. Moreover it is a real-time recognition. The hand is detected at the video rate. On the contrary, if we choose a pad whose spectrum is not close to the spectrum of the skin, the hand is no more detected.